Nestled between the Netherlands to the north and France to the south, tiny Belgium often gets overlooked by travelers, but Belgium has so much to offer and with its small size, you're able to see so much of it in a short amount of time. Belgium is home to one of the most beautiful canal cities, stunning architecture, and tons of delicious Belgian food like Belgian chocolate, Belgian waffles, Belgian beer, and Belgian frites. Fun fact, the reason why Americans call them French fries is because in World War I, when American soldiers were stationed in the south of Belgium, they they discovered these amazing fries and everyone around them was speaking French, so they actually just called them French fries. Little did they know everyone in the south of Belgium speaks French, so we should actually be calling them Belgium fries. But anyways, let's dive into your three-day Belgium itinerary, starting off day one traveling from Brussels to Bruges, which is only about an hour and a half-ish by train. Bruges is known as one of the most beautiful canal cities in all of Europe and is sometimes referred to as the Venice of the North. The train station is only about a 20 minute walk to the city center so you can hop off and easily walk there. You don't need to you know, hop on a bus or take a taxi. You can just go drop off your bags at your hotel and then you can start exploring Bruges. We'll start at Grote Market which has the iconic and classic Belgium colorful buildings lining the square. The ones I saw on Instagram so many times before my visit and had to Instagram myself. The market is is a big square, so it's nice to walk around the main part of town. If you're there during November or December, you're in for a real treat since this is where the main Christmas market in town is and it is stunning. I FaceTimed my sister while I was there and she said, it looks like you're in a real life snow globe. And that has really stuck with me because it's the best description of this place. It just doesn't seem real. That's how beautiful it is during Christmas. Next is Belfry of Bruges. This is a beautiful building that's worth taking some photos of. You also have the option of paying 15 euros to climb up the 366 steps and have amazing views of Bruges all below you. Now onto Bruges City Hall and Basilica of the Holy Blood, which are in the same plaza. From here, you can cross the canal to Rosary Quay, a stunning picturesque street and area. The perfect place to snap some photos and just kind of wander around. When you're ready, you can walk along the river towards Boniface Bridge, which honestly is a little hidden down a back alley. From here, you'll also want to see Church of Our Lady, which is in the same plaza. And then you'll end your exploring down at Minnewater Park, which is this beautiful park where two canals meet. This was personally my favorite spot in Bruges, just sitting there watching the swans in the canal with the autumn colors all around me. It was so, so magical. So I'm sure any time of the year, it's just as breathtaking, but especially being there during the Christmas season, it was just magical. Cause if you keep walking to the end of the park, there was an ice rink and a bar right there overlooking the water. Just amazing. Now we're moving on to day two where you'll grab your bags and hop on a train for 30 minutes to Ghent. I highly, highly recommend buying all train tickets at the train station themselves as opposed to online apps like Trainline or Amio. It was literally half the price at the station compared to what it was in my app. Once you arrive in Ghent, the train station is a little further from the city center compared to Bruges. It's about a 30-ish minute walk. So either walk or hop on the tram that's right outside the station and it'll take you to the city center in about 10 minutes. Bruges and Ghent might seem similar on the outside since they're both really beautiful canal cities, but they're super, super different. Bruges is more, you know, Disneyland, picturesque beauty, while Ghent feels very 
offbeat, gothic, and less touristy. We'll start at Gravenstein, which is this unreal castle preserved from the 10th century that has a moat and everything, so it's like quintessential castle. It costs 13 euros to go inside, or you can just admire it from the outside for free. Next, you'll head to Friday Market, which is a beautiful little plaza. Then you'll make your way to this street. I won't even attempt to say the name, which is a super cool artsy graffiti street. So you'll really want to take your time strolling down this street since there is so much art to see. you'll walk by N.T. Ghent, which is a beautiful performing arts theater, and continue on that road to St. Bavo's Cathedral for some stunning views. Then you'll turn around and head back that same street you just came down to get to the Belfry of Ghent, which was built between 1313 and 1380 and cost 11 euros to go up. Keep heading down the road a little bit and you'll stumble upon St. Nicholas's Cathedral. Right next to this is Corin Market, which is one of the main roads to walk along for shopping and restaurants. When we were there, they were setting up for their Christmas market, so it was a bit crowded, a bit messy, but I'm sure it looked amazing once the Christmas market was actually all set up. From here, head to the canal to see St. Michael's Bridge and St. Michael's Church right behind it. Once you're done admiring the beauty of both of these sites, walk along the canal up towards the city center again, and if you want to hop on a canal boat tour, now's the time. This is also something you can do in Bruges, but it's cheaper and the tour is actually longer in Ghent, so that's what we personally decided to do to get more for our money here in Ghent versus Bruges. It's 9 euros per person and about an hour long. Now it's day three, you'll hop on a 30 minute train to Brussels since no matter what you're taking next, train or flight, you'll most likely need to get it from Brussels. Full disclosure, Brussels is quite boring, definitely not as beautiful compared to Bruges and Ghent and kind of has that reputation of being more of a uh, city. But if you have the time, I'm sure it's worth seeing. We were supposed to see Brussels on our day three, but it was pouring rain and we really only had two hours to explore before we needed to head to the airport. So because of the weather, we just decided not to even deal with it. But if you do head into the city center, make sure to go to the Grand Palace. It's probably the most iconic thing to see in all of Brussels. This is where Brussels Town Hall is, several guild halls, and the King's House, which now holds the Brussels City Museum. Right near the Grand Palace is the Galleries Royales St. Hubert, which is an arcade hall with all of Belgium's famous chocolate shops like Mary, Newhouse, Pierre, and Marcolini. I personally got an entire bag of chocolates to try from Newhouse and they were absolutely to die for. So make sure you do try some. You can't leave Belgium without trying Belgium chocolate. Or if you have more time, you can actually participate in a chocolate workshop where you get to make your own chocolates. And I didn't mention this specifically in one place, but do make sure not to only try the Belgian chocolates I just talked about, but the Belgian waffles and the Belgian fries too. The fries, just because they were created here, you know, they're nothing too special about them in my opinion they don't taste different but the waffles are special and they taste way better than any other waffle i've ever had so you can't go to belgium and not try a belgian waffle come on having the opportunity to have weekend trips like this in belgium is one of the many reasons i left the u.s and moved to the uk you can just hop on a train in london and two hours later you're in brussels city center it's just so crazy so if you're thinking of where to go after belgium consider doing this this train in reverse and coming to london London. Make sure to check out this one day London itinerary to make the most of your time there. <music>